fact, it's been 20 years since one of the most iconic television shows ever debuted on HBO. The Sopranos swept audiences into the mob life for six seasons and kept eyes glued on the trials and tribulations of Tony Soprano and his family for all 86 episodes. Now, Daily Mail reporter Chris Spargo is not only revealing new details on the upcoming prequel, but we are also hearing from the cast, who just reunited two decades later. Mr. Soprano? <clears throat> yeah. We're part of a cultural moment. I watched the pilot and I literally jumped for joy. I said, this is the best thing I've seen. When The Sopranos started in 1999, it really ushered in this golden era of television. In a time of laugh track TV and predictable procedurals, The Sopranos was a standout. And so was the man at the center, Tony. Played by actor James Gandolfini, Tony was equal parts tough guy, wise guy, ruthless killer, but also a devoted father, flawed husband, and struggling soul. I think The Sopranos is kind of most seen in the idea of the male anti-hero, the sort of main character that is not lovable and is not likable and doesn't really do the right thing. Tony, I'm sorry! I'm sorry, I'm just having some bad luck! Yeah. Just got worse. <laughs> As I've said a thousand times, you know, you do a scene with Jimmy Gandolfini, you walk away a better actor. Aside from a stellar cast and a long list of awards, The Sopranos won 21 Emmy Awards, 12 Television Critic Awards, 8 Screen Actors Guild Awards, 5 Golden Globes, and it won the Peabody two years in a row. The ultimate Sopranos signature, that sign-off. Usually when you saw finales for these big shows, there was always a definitive ending, and The Sopranos just did the exact opposite. And then there are all these sort of fan theories about what happened, so it was really sort of up to the viewer to decide. Since the final cut to black, throngs of fans have called for a sequel. But with the passing of the great James Gandolfini in 2013, writer David Chase says, forget about it. But for Sopranos superfans hoping for a mob movie, some good news. David Chase has talked, however, about doing a prequel movie that looks to be a go. And Tony Soprano will be a character, he'll be a child, and it'll kind of harken back to that sort of Goodfellas sort of look of, you know, the fancy suits and the nice cars and the big dinners and the women, that sort of era of the mobsters. You're born to this. You are what you are. The Many Saints of Newark is in its pre-production and casting stages, so don't expect to see any Sopranos on your screen for a while.